Welcome to Crew Tube. I'm Captain Crude. NFL is rigged. Week 14 recap. And what a week of shitty football. Starting with the Patriots somehow winning in Pittsburgh. Thursday night football, right down to the wire. Who cares? Shit. But we fast forward to this past Sunday and a lot of strange things happened. You have the Cowboys beating up on their division foe, the Eagles. Pretty bad. Cowboys have been covering the spread like no other team in the NFL this year. I think uh, maybe, I don't know how the NFL is going to play it, but I think what you got going on with the Cowboys should remain steady at least uh, for the next week or so, and then maybe the NFL corrects that. Uh, we will see, but everything is now tightening up. Only a handful of teams really have their divisions locked up. Uh, I still think Miami wins the AFC East, and the NFC West is definitely the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, but everything else is up for grabs. Only, I think, two teams are mathematically already eliminated from playoff contention. That would be the Patriots and the Panthers. But getting back to the AFC East, you had the Jets winning. Who knew who... <laughs> Who knew that would happen? And the Bills squeaking out a win in KC. So those two teams take a little jump up in the standings. And the Bills ended up beating Kansas City, which makes them kind of, you know, mortal now. That was a strange game, and you got all these people talking about that offsides at the end of the game, which cost the Chiefs the game. I tell you what, that's all one huge work. You tell me a professional player in crunch time can't see that his foot is over that line? Give me a fucking break. That was a work all the way around. He actually checked with the referee to make sure he was over that line. You can watch the replay. Because they were going to call that play back whether or not. Didn't matter. And you go, why would they do that? Because it takes the heat off the Chiefs and all those non-call, say, guys like Patrick Mahomes always get when they scramble. You know, when the, the other teams are intentionally missing tackles on him and then uh, never any holding calls when he's scrambling. Now you have the Chiefs going on record complaining about that offsides. It shouldn't have happened. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, give me a fucking break. That was all one big work to give the Bills a win and to make the Chiefs, you know, seem like the victim. Ooh, big effing deal. You know, it was just, it's just a joke, this, this, this league. It's like, come on. And the Lions losing to the Bears. I mean, they're still in control of their division, but people just dump on that team when they lose. I think they're 9-4 and four right now. What the fuck? Whoever thought they were going to get that far this year? Chill out. You know, who knows how far they're really going to get with Jared Goff, but I really don't care. Now, to the big news. Big games. Like last night's Monday Night Football. Giants and Packers. I told a couple of people on my channel here in response that I really liked the Packers last night to cover and kick some ass. Nope. Me and a lot of other people got hosed by the Tommy DeVito train in the Meadowlands. How did the Giants win that fucking game? I don't know. I didn't watch it. I was just in disbelief that the Giants were able to win that thing after looking like complete amateurs most of the season. But the game that was running concurrent with it was the rigged game of the day, the Titans at the Dolphins. The Dolphins should have stomped all over Tennessee. But, you know, with that death of Frank Wycheck, the Music City Miracle guy, 
the Titans go into Miami. Miami loses that tightens up the AFC East. But a lot went into that. That win last night was very improbable. Those two late scores for the Titans to take that game, you know, with the two-point conversion and everything, I don't think so. That game was rigged, and uh, the G, uh, the Gematria really played out with the wide check death. If you really think he fell and hit his head and died, think again. That guy was whacked for a reason, and uh, there's a couple of numbers associated with it. I'm not going to go into that. That's not that's not my forte. Uh, but somehow that Titans win justified the Giants winning, also. Because you couldn't have the two road teams go out and win. You know, it's just the way the NFL is. So we're looking forward to next week's game starting on Thursday. You got a real dog of a Thursday night game. You got the Chargers against the Raiders. Justin Herbert is not playing. You got somebody else at quarterback. I don't know for the Chargers. Against the Raiders, who lost, got goose-egged against Minnesota. 3-0. That doesn't happen very often. And why did it happen against the Raiders at that point of the season? Who knows? So Minnesota's still in there with a really horrible quarterback. Even a backup who ended up winning the game for him uh, the other day. Nick Mullins is another, you know hump of a quarterback but he got the job done uh i did watch it didn't you know i didn't think that was on the level either i mean when uh what's his name uh mr i got paid last year hunter renfro fumbled again deep in the vikings territory earlier in the game it was like i knew the raiders were losing renfro isn't that kind of guy he's too dependable he doesn't do that, but since he got paid, let's just say he knows the score. So when you get paid in the NFL, let's just say you're paying you're, that pay you're getting is blood money. You are literally doing what the NFL tells you to do. Good for him. Uh, I always like Renfro. He just looks so nondescript. I mean, he looks just like a normal guy. He should be working in IT in a big corporate, you know, environment. But no, he's a tough dude. So, uh, I'm trying to think of some other games that seemed a little suspect. Uh, I think all these, all these wins this past weekend, putting teams still into the the playoff mix, is just making me sick. You you, you shouldn't have. You know, like the Jets winning 30 to 6. Really? After looking like bozos most of the year, they suddenly wake up. And then the Dolphins lose last night and the Bills win. You know, it's like and the Patriots won. It's it's very strange. Okay. NFL is rigged. Watch these games closely. That's all I say. Watch it closely. That Chiefs game where that guy was off sides at the end and he checked with the referee just to make sure. <laughs> you can watch that for yourself. Uh, that's bullshit. Anything, any comments, hey, put them below. I don't care. Uh, just stay on point. Subscribe. Yeah, I film these in my car for two reasons. One, the lighting is perfect and there's no noise. Every time I try filming at home, I got dogs barking. There's people doing uh, yard work outside. It's so noisy. So I like doing them in, doing them in the car. So, until I see you next time, peace, cheers.